all of these platforms have in their terms of service that they can remove you, terminate their service to you temporarily or permanently at any time for any reason, even if what you're doing is legal. It was blasted as a home online for the alt-right and as an organizing platform for last week's attacks on the U.S. Capitol building. Now Parler has been banned from app stores and Amazon says it won't host Parler on its web servers. But academics and users warn that these actions could have unintended consequences. I think you have right now, um, you know, something similar to what happened after 9-11, where everyone says this was so um, huge and this was so important that all different kinds of, uh, you know, really strong actions are justified. Uh, but you risk having the same kind of, um, you know, kind of unleashing of uh, an overbearing power that you had um, with the, you know, what got called the global war on, on terror. Amazon Web Services previously provided web hosting for Parler, but under pressure from employees and the public, Amazon has told Parler to find new servers. While some say this is an attack on free speech, others point out Amazon, like Google and Apple, are private corporations and can refuse service to whoever they like. What's concerning here is we have a number of companies that are now infrastructure. They are provide infrastructural services. So most of us get our apps from one of two places, Google or uh, sorry, Android, Google and Apple. And so that means these companies have incredible choke point power to determine what kind of apps we see. While big tech giants control our access to apps, other tech companies like Twitter and Facebook control spaces for public debate. Meg Stalkup teaches at the University of Ottawa and says those companies moderate content extensively but don't seem to have a plan for dealing with dishonest users. Very specific forms of speech are currently regulated, right? Like fraud is is regulated. You know, the kind of ads for prostitution are regulated. They're the very, very specific areas that are regulated. But in fact, we're not addressing the issue of how we're going to deal with mass coordinated lying. And, and that is did not just come up on January 6th, it, you know, you could look at the pandemic. Stalkup says simply removing extremist voices just means they move further into their own echo chambers and opportunities to reach those people are lost. Joey Agostinucci is a parlor user and says he picked the platform precisely because certain topics weren't being talked about on mainstream social media. Amazon and Apple and Twitter and Facebook, they're all individual businesses However, they all seem to be standing on this same side of censorship and control and, and so on and so forth. Now, as for Parler itself, the company has filed a complaint in Washington State Court asking for a restraining order against Amazon Web Services, arguing that AWS was acting out of political interests, not concern for public safety. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.